Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. Uh, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for your January 2022. Uh, we are going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what surrounds you guys, what you guys need to know, uh, what you guys could expect uh, for January 2022. Um, so this could be in anything, uh, love, romance, relationships, friendship, family, career, uh, finances, personal development, spiritual development. We will see what the cards have to say. Uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, um, Aries. Let's get started. Over energies for Aries. For January 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What is surrounding Aries? What does Aries need to know? What can Aries expect for January 2022? All right, Aries just flipped over. Um, King of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So, um, Aries, Leo, Sag could be dealing with another Aries. Or Leo or Sag, you have yeah, um, you have those energies in and around you. You could have Leo Sag in your chart. The Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. You now someone here could be coming back around towards you, and you're trying to protect yourself with that Seven of Swords. Let's see what else is right here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. You could have those energies in your chart. Yeah. Seven of um, Wands and a Six of Pentacles. Whoever's coming back, you were really generous with this person. And I feel like you're really protecting yourself. You're really protecting yourself from this person. Yeah, it seems like someone from your past is coming back. Six of Cups. Interesting. Maybe an emperor is coming back towards you. We have two masculines here. I mean, it could be a situation where it's a heterosexual couple and both of you have masculine energy. Whoever, whoever is coming back, I mean, someone here is taking this opportunity or taking this chance to rekindle a relationship here. So Aries, this could be you wanting to rekindle a relationship or someone that you know wants this. Yeah, it seems like someone here is looking for a reconciliation, but... You're just going to protect yourself. You're just going to protect yourself. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about this uh, King of Wands here. Why is the King of Wands here? Could be dealing with the Twin Flame. Uh, someone here who you have a strong, very strong soul tie here with. Uh, the Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. Let's see what we have here. Could be a karmic situation here too. Sometimes a Wheel of Fortune could speak of karma, like what goes around comes around, that sort of thing, too. King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Tell me about the King of Wands. Justice. Whoa. Seems as though Aries, you know, if this person's coming back, you're just like, you know what? I've learned my lesson with you. I'm no longer dealing with this BS. Seven of Swords. So you could be could have been dealing with someone here who was very um, uh, deceptive, uh, deceptive towards you. This person lied a lot. With the Seven of Pentacles, perhaps this person made a lot of promises that they didn't keep here. Um, I, I, and I feel like maybe this person pushed you away and perhaps even breadcrumbed you too. Uh, this person's very in and out. This person comes in uh, and goes whenever they please. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. The Chariot. Cancer energy. Could be dealing with the Cancer here. You might have Cancer in your chart. Uh, Knight of Swords. Why is this Knight of Swords here? We have the Fool. Could be dealing with someone here that's very childlike. Non-committal here. 
someone here who doesn't really, I feel like you're, you might have, you might be dealing with someone here who doesn't really have full control of their life. I feel like this person tries, but for some reason, this person has a hard time really getting their life straight, I feel. Uh, this person behaves like a little kid with the full card here. Seven of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is the person that's coming back towards you, perhaps. So this King and this Emperor is you, Aries, okay? So we have someone here that's missing you, wanting you back in their life. Could be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles here that is someone here who's very greedy or needy or someone here is a bit of a freeloader or something like that. You're definitely blocking this person out or you're pushing them away. I feel like this person initially pushed you away first. Interesting. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a true pair here. You know, I feel like you guys... For some of you guys, you guys could have worked together at some point. That's not going to resonate with all of you guys. You're tired of the lies and deception here. You're tired of it, Aries. Yeah, this person's coming back and you're just walking away with the Eight of Cups. All right, let's see what else do we have here. What else do we have for Aries here? Outcome and advice for Aries regarding their situation. What else could they can look forward to for January 2022? Anything else that, uh, that Aries needs to know regarding their situation? Outcome and advice here for Aries regarding their situation for January 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Oh. That's true, money. You have the strength card and the higher thing. I feel like Aries, um, you know, I feel like moving forward, you're just going to stick with your guns. Yeah, whatever you decided, you're not changing your mind here. Yeah, because, you know, this is what I want. This is all, uh, this is what I'm about. Um, and there's no changing my mind, you know, there's no bending, either you want to stay or leave, that sort of thing. Uh, because I feel like you have really, really, really extremely strong, strong core values here. Um, and I feel like you're just really sticking with it, uh, with strength and hierophant here. So Leo energy and Taurus energy. Could be dealing with any of those energies in or around you. You might have those energies in your chart. We've got the Three of Cups and the Nine of Wands. I feel like you're tired of this person exploring other options. You're tired of this person doing stuff behind your back. Two of Cups and the Moon. This is a strong soul tie here. There's just a lot of lies and deceptions and secrets surrounding this. I feel like you've been more than open with this person, more than patient with this person, uh, giving towards this person. And I feel like you're coming to a realization that maybe this is this is not something that you want to be around, not even as a friend. So maybe this person is trying to befriend, befriend you and then see where things go. I do feel like we have someone here that wants to come back into your life, but you're not allowing it. So strength. Like it's a situation where you're valuing yourself more than stooping down to this person's um, vibration. Strength. Yeah, I just feel like you're really sticking to your guns here. Strength, ace of wands, hierophant, ten of wands here. For you, this is over. You're sticking to your guns. You're not changing your mind. You know, a lot of times, you know, I'm an Aries too. So I'm one of those people, once I make up my mind, I really don't go back. Yeah, I really don't go back. So three of cups, Hierophant. You know, some of you guys, uh, Aries, moving forward, I feel like you guys might be trying to surround yourself with like-minded people, spiritual people, religious people. However you, you know, 
whatever you follow, I, I, uh, you know, in terms of spirituality and faith here, I feel, I, I just feel like there's going to be a strong, um, uh, energy in trying to, um, utilize that as a part of your growth and your healing here, because you've grown a lot. You've learned a lot, um, just by dealing with this person here. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. I just feel like you're tired of not being happy around this person. And I feel like you're really focused on making yourself happy and not being stressed out. You're definitely, you know, cutting out this karmic. Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's just because this connection is not going anywhere because there's a lot of uh, secrets here. The Moon and the King of Swords. You know, I feel like you're going within and really trusting your intuition here. Yeah, uh, with the devil here, you're definitely cutting out someone here who's been very toxic in your life that has disappointed you over and over and over again with these tarot moments and not learning their lesson. So, Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.